How do consumers decide what to do in a market setting? That's what this unit's about. So we've already covered kind of the basics of how consumers have preferences over things. So we can imagine food and shelter as two things they care about. And we've constructed a utility function and indifference curves to map their preferences over different trade-offs where they get more food and less shelter or vice versa. And we can do this over anything, any bundle of goods, as many as we want, not just two things in general. So this is their preferences. And in general, people prefer to be up here. They, th we assume that more is better. That's one of the assumptions of these utility functions and preferences. And so given any option, consumers are going to want to get as much of both as they possibly can. But that's not the choice they face. Uh, in a market, consumers have to pay prices to get goods. Okay, And that's important because they also have a certain amount of income. Okay, And they have to basically satisfy their budget. And that's how goods, that's the problem of a consumer uh, in a market, how to spend the money you have. Okay. And what we say is that consumers have a budget constraint. So they're not actually free to just go up to the upper right corner because they can't afford that much food and that much shelter. Okay. They have a certain amount of money, there's prices, and they have to decide what they're going to do with it. So in general, in econ, the budget constraint is written with a Y for the amount of money that you've got to spend. We can call that your income. And that has to be greater than or equal to how you spend your money. And in this simple example, there's two ways you can spend your money. You can buy food. And let's say the price of food is P with a little F next to it. We multiply that by the amount of food you buy. And that's your spending on food. Or you can spend it on shelter, and that's your spending on shelter. Okay, and in a market, and the most you can possibly buy is if you spend all your money. So the amount you spend on food and shelter has to be less than your income. So in the next video, we'll talk about how we can graph this kind of relationship and use that to figure out some conditions on how consumers are going to spend their money in a market economy.